going on Facebook friends. I am sitting out here on Lake Athens and uh, I'm about to get started. There's enough light where I can think I think I can film pretty well. Uh, been out here all night. I have caught a lot of fish. Caught a lot of fish last night. But they were all small. The biggest fish I've caught so far has been about four pounds. I've caught a lot of uh, two to three pounders uh, all on the jig again. And they hammered the jig last night. Uh, there was just no real size. Hey, I can see some people are tuning in. I can't quite see the names. I want to say hi to everybody. Hope you're all having a good day. Anyway, I'm just about to get started with uh, my first cast. Like I said, I've been out here since about 10 o'clock last night. And I'm, I'm guessing, I lost count. I think I've caught about 18 fish. But they are all, they've all been small. Probably about four and a half. I seriously doubt it went five pounds. But probably about four and a half has been my biggest fish so far. And as far as I can tell, I haven't had a real big bite yet. So, anyway, gonna make a few casts up here in my favorite spot. Uh, I didn't think I was gonna get to fish it this morning because uh, right as the sun was coming up, I was in a different area. A boat came around the corner and ran almost right over to this spot, but they went the other way instead of where I usually fish. So, I kinda got lucky, so. Anyway, there's fish here. I see them on the graph, so let's see if I can get rid of the boat. The bite last night was way better than it was last week. They were hammering it last night. Uh, last week when I was here, they were just kind of pecking it. There's one right there. Look at that first cast. Oh, it's a good one too. Oh yeah, this was a good fish. Hope I can get it in. Oh, they're real good fish. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Come on. First cast in this spot. Oh my goodness. That is a, that's a good one right there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I just did that live. Oh my goodness. Oh, this might be a 10 pounder right here. How you like that one? Yeah, it's not 10, but that's a good fish. I'm gonna have to get my uh, scales out and weigh, and weigh this one. Good Lord. First cast. How you like that one? That fish uh, looks way bigger than it is. That's probably an eight something, maybe seven something. We'll see real quick. Wow, look at that. Wow. <laughs> First cast, golly. I told you this was a good spot. All right, let's see. Get my scale on. All right, zero that out. Wow, first cast, crazy. All right. Oh, this fish is 7.58. 7 Wow, I thought that was gonna be a bigger fish the way it the way it looked. Anyway, hey you like that one? Good chunk. Alright, going back in the lake. Whew, well, I was doing the five cast challenge this morning and uh got it on the first cast so I can relax now. So uh let me get back at it. Maybe there's another one in there. It's a pretty good fish. <sighs> wow, Whew, that'll get your heart going first thing in the morning. That's the best fish I've caught since I've been here. Isn't that crazy? <sighs> anyway, I am still throwing the uh, spicy peanut butter jig with a, uh, it's called a flapping hog trailer. Anyway, and I'm dipping the tail in uh, garlic, spike it, dye, 
that's what it looks like and they love it absolutely love it as you can tell Whew, man crazy right now tell me that's not that's not lucky right there on the first cast <laughs> I actually last night I hit this spot and uh, it's probably about two in the morning I came over here and hit the spot and I caught maybe five fish off of it and they were all like two pounds so to catch a seven pounder off of it first thing this morning that's wasn't expecting that really oh let's see if there's another one But uh, like I was saying last week when I was doing this, the fish are here, every time I'm here, the fish are here early morning. And it only lasts for about 30 minutes to 40 minutes if I'm lucky. And then these fish are gone. So they just move through here first thing in the morning. Uh, found this spot, well I found this spot years ago, but I didn't realize the fish were doing this every morning that I'm here. Um, until just, you know, last year. Anyway, if you're just tuning in, I just put a 7.5 in the boat on my first cast since I, since I went live, so... I don't, I made a joke yesterday about y'all making bets if I could put one in the boat within my first five casts, so. Oh, there's another one. Y'all there? Yep, sure he is. Oh, oh yeah, another good fish. Come on. He's not as good as that last one, but he's decent. Oh yeah, come on. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna swing this one in. He's not that big. There you go. That's two. Just right here. That's what it looks like. John Cook. Should have been out here with me this morning. You're a lawyer. You got plenty of money. You could have uh, passed on working today. Been out here with me. So that's two, pretty quick. I'm in uh, about 12 feet of water right now. I'm just kind of fan casting, uh, but I'm really still fishing anywhere from 10 to about 14 is about as deep as this area is that I'm that I'm hitting, and a lot of grass, and I'm basically on the edge of the grass line. And like I said, every morning that I'm here, these fish move through for, and they'll bite for like I said, probably about 30 minutes, and then I'll go hit other spots. Anyway, hey, I want to thank Jesus for another day on the water. I want to thank AFCO. I'm going to have to go back and play that again. I can't believe I put a seven in the boat right off the bat. That was, <laughs> that was funny. Like I said, I fished all last night and did not have a single real good bite. There, oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one right there. Oh, there he is. Whew, slung my trailer off. So that's three.
feisty. Little dink. That's about what I was catching last night. A lot of those. But man, were they hammering this jig last night. Guys, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, I can't really see the, I can tell people are tuned in, but I can't really see who's on here this morning. But I appreciate you watching. I hope you're enjoying it. Wanna say hi to everybody that's watching. My eyes are pretty much gone nowadays. <laughs> I'm still seeing fish on my graph. See if I can get another one to buy it real quick. I'm glad that boat left. They probably would have been mad watching me catch those. Like I said, they kind of started in this area, but they went the wrong way. They went the opposite direction. And then when I got over here, wait, there's another one. I ain't dropped it. Then when I got over here, they left. Had a full moon last night. Had uh, plenty of light. I ran all over the lake and uh, didn't have to use my uh, spotlight or anything, but. Hey man, what's going on? You get a chance, go back and watch the beginning of this. My very first cast, I caught a 7.5. <laughs> first cast. Like I said, I can't quite see the phone. I can't quite tell who is on here watching, but I want to say hi to everybody. Glad you're tuning in. I was doing the uh, five uh, cast challenge this morning. Said I could put a fish in the boat within my first five cast. My first cast, I caught a seven five. And then I put two more fish in the boat, but I wasn't counting. I'm not for sure uh, if that was in the first five or so. I really thought that fish was going to be bigger. It, uh, man, it, it was so wide. It, it just it looked like a horse when I was pulling it up. I really thought that fish was going to be way bigger than that. I went back and looked at some videos from the beginning of the year and uh, man I have caught a lot of fish out here between seven and eight pounds uh, and I have really missed out on some opportunities I have missed some really good fish out here from either my line breaking or them just throwing my jig off or uh, just some silliness you know I just I don't know it's just I I've caught a lot of good fish out here this year, but the real big ones, for whatever reason, I have just not been able to get one in the boat this year. So um, I've got some friends that have, and uh, I've got some friends that have caught some 10s and 11s out here. Again, John Cook should have been out here with me. After you watch this video, you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be regretting you didn't uh, load up and come on out anyway. <laughs> Last week when I went live and did this, uh, it's 
kind of funny because I was fishing around and I said, okay, I'm going to make one more cast and I'm going to turn the camera off. And I caught one about five pounds on my last cast before I killed the camera. Anyway, basically what I'm doing is, one reason this spot is so good, there's an underwater point that comes off the dam. And it runs parallel with, with the dam. So it creates a ditch or a trough, and there's a lot of grass in it. So what happens, I believe every morning, the shad migrate in and out, and when they do that, the bass are sitting on some grass at the very end of this underwater point, and they're basically just sitting there ambushing the shad as they come through. So uh, basically what I do is I sit kind of in the mouth kind of hard to explain but I sit in the mouth between the end of the point and the dam and then I'm throwing and I'm pulling this jig right across the grass um, and that's where I'm catching the fish and like I said it only lasts for you know about 30 minutes and then they're gone and then I'll just uh, I'll jump around to other points but this is definitely the best morning morning spot that I have. Um, I almost always catch fish when I'm sitting here, and I've caught uh, I've caught a lot of sevens and eights off this this spot. Uh, I don't think I've caught anything bigger than uh, eight pounds off of this, but I catch a lot of sevens. All right, I'm actually gonna make one more cast and then I'm gonna turn it off. Looks like my phone is about to die anyway, so. Anyway. One more. I'd like to save a little bit of juice on my phone and catch, catch a bigger one later in the day. I'd like some pictures and some videos of it, so. Saw a lot of deer this morning. There is a park directly across the lake, and the deer live in that park pretty much every night when I'm out here and I go by with my spotlight. You can count probably 15 deer in this park over here. It's always fun to walk, go by and spotlight them. <laughs> All right, guys, that's gonna do it. I'm gonna end this so I can, like I said, have some juice left in my phone. After I stop this, you ought to go back and uh, re-watch it and watch the very first fish that I put in the boat. It was a horse. It was a good one. All right, guys. Oh, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Like I said, I want to thank Jesus for another day on the water. I want to thank AFCO. If you haven't gone and looked at their products, it's uh, American Fishing Tackle Company. And, uh, you know, I, I, I look the same every time I come out here. I love this ninja shirt got a hood on it keeps me from burning the moment the sun comes up I put this hood on keeps the bugs off of me at night and uh, some of the caps that they have have reflective stickers it's kind of good when I'm out here at night so really loving this stuff anyway check them out if you get a chance all right guys I hope y'all have a great day and uh, want to I want to thank you again for watching East Texas Fisherman with Steve Porterfield see ya